So I kind of wondered about that. And I also sort of on a different note felt like while I enjoyed going to the farmer's market and I felt like in theory it seems like a nice idea to have like a sustainable meal a week to conserve energy costs and things like that and truck fuel. I felt like it was a lot more work than my normal meal would be and it would be so much easier just to go to Kroger and I would spend less and have to spend a lot less time planning and cooking and worrying about a single meal than this did. So overall, um, I don't think I'll probably do it again. Uh, as far as me personally participating in a local farmer's market or something like that, uh, I think if I was a local Blacksburg resident with maybe a middle or upper middle class income, I think I probably would, uh, at least on an irregular basis, uh, just because it, the food tastes better and things like that. As a college student, it's definitely, I, you know, I, I can't do it because it's extremely inconvenient for me by comparison to what Virginia Tech provides. It's more expensive and uh, things of that nature. The counter argument to that is uh, why can't uh, D2 or places like this try to incorporate more locally grown stuff or maybe even uh, stuff grown from Virginia Tech, which I haven't investigated that too much, so uh, I'm sure it would take uh, an act of Congress probably to get that done, but uh, I think it would be really beneficial to a lot of people involved. You know, ideally, um, everywhere in America, we could eat locally. But the reality is, um, we've grown into a country where the majority of the population lives in suburban areas. And so, in no way is it going to be economically feasible for the average person to eat local food uh, all the time. Um, you know, uh, just the whole distribution system of food in America, you know, you've got uh, the mid Midwest, which is almost all farmland, and then uh, and it's all providing for these people in the cities. And um, our food is going to become more expensive because all of that food is being requires a certain amount of of uh, oil resources to be transported uh, from wherever it's grown and processed to wherever it's consumed. Um, and so, local eating local might make sense if if you're growing your own food. If we could somehow figure out how to grow our own food, and you know whether it be rooftop gardens or um, you know just gardens in your backyard where you're eating all your own food, um, because it wouldn't wouldn't it would be less expensive because you're not paying to uh, to transport that goods. But even with farmers markets. Those farmers have to drive pretty far, so they still there. The, the prices of their foods are going to be affected by by rising gas prices and that kind of thing. So, I think it's it's a great idea if if um, if we could if more people could grow their own food. Um, I don't know much about farming, so I don't know if it would be possible for everyone to grow enough food, but you can grow some. Plus, it's fun. It's fun to grow your own food. Uh, my mom has a garden. You can go out there and sneak beans and pick them off the stalk and eat them. It's delicious. That's about all I have to say. So, where does that leave us? Just what is sustainability? Well, I think it's pretty clear from our discussions that sustainability is not static. It has to change as politics change, as the economy changes, as ecology changes. So I think in the end, sustainability is up to the individual person. You need to decide what's sustainable for you, and then try to live your life in a sustainable way. I'm pretty hungry. Let's eat.